Okay, I'm putting the plugs in the 3D3. Now, for you people that are doing aluminum heads, very important. When you put your plugs in, you need to put a little bit of never seize on them. You don't need to be, you know, big blobs, just a little, a couple little swatches. Um, reason being, is aluminum and steel corrode together. Um, they basically become one. And then, motherfucker, to get the plugs out, you can gall and damage the threads if you don't. So, I always use never seize on them. Um, I did get ahead a little bit. I put the fucking wires on it. Yeah, I get a screwdriver. Now what you gotta do, you know, when you got your distributor dropped in, top dead center right when you want it to fire, you know, a little bit before. Remember how I showed you? Now what you gotta do is you gotta put your cap on your distributor. Then mark where number one's gonna be. Mark your distributor. So when you take your cap off, you can see where your rotor is gonna be pointing at that mark. See how that works? The rotor's here. So that is gonna be number one. Then you go around the cap of your firing order, which is a Chevy is one eight four three six five seven two. And this turns clockwise. So it's one eight four three six five seven two. And on this one you get a coil wire, if you got an ATI, you just plug power to it. Um, another thing I got set up finally is a PCB. And what that stands for is positive crankcase ventilation. Um, it's very important to have it. This motor had those stupid little fucking chrome air breathers on it before. I don't know if I can find one. So I can show you what the fuck I'm yapping about. I think I hucked them because I don't use them, they're fucking junk. I shouldn't have hucked them too far though. What's going on here? Well, anyway, these are the same thing. You don't want to use these. Or the little chrome ones for the holes underneath. You don't want to use shit like that. Now the PCV does is you're, you're going to seal it tight to your valve cover and goes to your manifold or on the back of your car here you'll see there's a vacuum port, a big one. Now what that does is that takes a blow by out of your oil pan. In theory it's, it's going to make this zero or even a negative discharge. Um, it helps your ring seat so your rings ain't floating and fluttering. But for this to work, you have to seal this tight. And what that does is that allows the suction to come through when you carve your back into your motor and keep a you know keep your pressure down in your oil pan. Now if you don't run a solid plug here and you run one of those queer little fucking breathers or something like that, that does not allow this to do its job. It's basically just sucking air right across the fucking motor. Just going to suck air into there, through your lifter valley and right back in your carburetor, almost like a vacuum leak. So it's very important to plug that up tight with a rubber plug. This will work. Your rings will seat. 
and you don't have oil blowing out of your fucking dipstick tube or your dipstick tube blowing up out of the tube. Um, yeah, just want to make that note. Uh, I gotta put the lower pulley on. The fucking thing's fighting me like a bastard. I can't get the two apart. The guy that built this motor before with a blower on it forced the two pulleys together. I don't even know where the fuck I threw it now. But I've got to take the aluminum blo the blower pulley off the, the metal pulley. And he pressed them together instead of turning the fucking aluminum down a little bit. So I'm going to fight with that. But as you can see, I got the fuel pump on. Now when this is on the dyno, I'm going to run an electric pump because that's how the dyno set up. But I want this on there to, one, block the hole, and two, the friction. Mechanical pump, which is being turned by the motor, not by an electric fucking motor. I see a lot of dynos on YouTube. Um, a lot of them run electric water pump. <clears throat> They'll run this type of pump and have a fucking motor up here, you know, electric motor to spin it. And that, to me, is a cheated dyno. I try to dyno with the, with the amount, you know, all the accessories on it that I can. Um, like I've said before, a water pump can take anywhere from 8 horse to fucking 18 horse. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you follow along, you should be at this point right now where all you gotta do is bolt the carburetor to it and start the fucking thing. Uh, I gotta tighten the plugs, put the oil in it. Oh, another thing I wanna talk to you about. Back, oh, fuck, mid-90s, early 90s maybe. The oil companies started pulling zinc out of the oil. And it's very important that you have it. It's it's a friction wear thing. Rotella still has that in it. Doesn't have as much as it used to have in it, but it still has zinc in it. So I run Rotella in all my, in all my motors. Um, a roller cam, it's not a big deal. Any oil will work. The zinc thing is, I don't know if you people noticed, some of you that are into this shit or into cars will have known. There's been a problem the past fucking 10 years or so with camshafts wearing out prematurely. And that's why. Because of the zinc they've pulled out of the fucking oils. If you have a flat tap at hydraulic cam or a solid cam, you need to run the fucking Rotella diesel and the Lucas zinc additive. It's a break in thing. Or you can buy it through like Comp Cam or whatever. But this is it. If you run a flat tap of cam, you need this. It has got the zinc in it. So this was a flat tap of motor. I would put this in it and a bottle of this. And I'd always run that after break-in. And I don't run that after break-in. So, there you have it. I'm not sure when I'm going to get the chance to take it up and dyno it. i still got to get the plugs for the water. Um, figure out what to do for carburation. I have one that's ready to go. I'm probably going to take that up and use it. See, where, see what CFM it's going to be using. Um, the carburetor I have should be plenty for this. But, like I said, I gotta separate these fucking pulleys and bolt the pulley on. My Dyna guy has a short belt, so we can, that's not a problem. Uh, I still gotta get the oil filter. It's just gonna be a cheap Napa filter or a CarQuest, then I'll put a frame on it before it goes in the car.